What is up, you guys? How's it going? My name is Tristan Padron. I go. Welcome to the channel. I hope you guys are doing well. Today, we're going to be talking about three things that I think you should do to get better at dancing during this quarantine season, quarantine time, Clementine sweet. Today is November 21st, 2020. We are about to go into another lockdown bro. And if you're anything like me, I'm a dancer and I live in Southern California. A lot of the studios in SoCal are actually shutting down. A few of the studios that I even worked at are actually shutting down for, you know, like the month of December or a few weeks or a few days. And so that does cause a few problems with my training and also teaching people. So during this time, I think we need to get creative. So here are three tips on what I think you should do in order to either start dancing, continue your dance training, and also to, um, you know, just, just get ideas. I'm just, I'm here for you, all right? <laughs> and without further ado, here are the three tips. Okay, I keep holding up three. So, three, I hope you got that. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm getting used to this YouTube stuff, bro, okay. Tip number one, you are probably going to have to make your own space, uh, whatever that may be for you. I know for me, I used to go to the gym a lot. I would go to Crunch like every day, practice in their gyms, and once the first quarantine started back in March, I actually stopped going and I just started dancing in my living room and I just used what I had. My household at the time, they didn't want no shoes in the house. Even if I offered to clean the floor afterwards, it was just kind of like no shoes in the house. And I was like, okay, that's fine. I'll dance in socks. So I just, I just dance in socks. I use what I have. So for you, you'll probably have to use whatever you have, whether that be your living room, your patio, your garage, your uh, next door neighbor's garage, uh, I don't know, the park. For me, I had to clear out some space. I also decided to set up some mirrors. And I found a tutorial on how to set up some cheap, like $8 Walmart mirrors. Walmart art. The art of Walm. Walmart. Cheap Walmart mirror. <laughs> the Walmart art? I set up some cheap Walmart mirrors up against one of my walls here in my living room. And I just used that um, to choreograph, to train, um, and do what I needed to do. And for a few of you guys, I know it might be hard, especially if you're young like me, you know, you might still be living with your parents. I'm not living with my parents, but you might be living with your parents, you know. And let's say that like you're living in a two-story building and you can't dance upstairs. Your downstairs neighbors will not be happy if you are just dancing all the time, so that would suck for them. If possible, I think you should try your best to dance outside. For my girlfriend, she lives in a two-story building and she has to dance outside. She practices around noontime when people aren't going to be sleeping and will get mad if some dude or lady is trying to dance like upstairs and you hear go 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 go. Maybe another scenario might be, you know, I, it's it's hard and I understand that maybe you and your parents, you know, your parents might not like dancing. At that point, I think go to a park and push yourself even though People might see you and be like, oh shoot, it's that dude that's dancing again. Ah you might have to go outside of your comfort zone and do what you have to do in order to get better. And you might have to dance outside in the public. When I was going to the gym, I actually had to get over that because people were also still working out around me. This before quarantine, by the way, people were still working out around me and doing their thing while I was dancing and you know trying to get better. And funny enough, like people actually did approach me about it and they're like, oh, who are you? Like, what kind of dancing is this? Like, that's cool. I wanna, I wanna know more about that. So it might spark some conversation. It might uh, spark some opportunity if you get caught, you know, dancing outside or something like that. So you might end up having to dance on concrete. You might have to ruin the soles of your shoes, invest in, you know, better shoes. I'd get some Air Force Ones. Those things are thick. <laughs> Do what you have to do in order to continue doing what you love. We are done with tip number one. Here is tip number dose, baby. Tip number two is to take online classes. I know if you are so used to dancing in person, taking studio classes, switching over to all online, it can get a little tedious, discouraging. It's kind of lonely sometimes, but uh, trust me, tip number three will actually help with this. So just bear with me, right? There are a lot of options online to continue your dance training. My personal favorites are Steezy Studios and Building Block 360, and of course, YouTube. Of course. 
course. But um, Steezy has a lot of options. I think they are well grounded in the online dance tutorial business and I, there are a lot of classes that you can take from housing, uh, hip hop foundations, choreography, popping, locking, trendy dance moves. Uh, the, look, you get the idea, there's a lot, right? I believe it is a fee of $20 a month. I might be wrong, it might have changed, but, but believe me, I totally believe that this would be worth the price if you were to do it. Something I would recommend is, to save money is to share an account with your friends or a family member or you know maybe just ask your mom like hey I'm going to be a choreographer can you help me mom and you know borrow like $20 a month because you wash the dishes every day I don't know something like that. Another website that you can learn from is called Building Block 360. It is actually made by Keone Madrid, uh, Mari Madrid who is his wife and uh, Nia Fam. Uh, it's, a, it's a collaboration of a bunch of people, but it's mainly created by Keone Madrid. I recommend this one personally for myself at the top because it really emphasizes dance training. Um, not only just information, but um, like education and in, in like physical fitness too. For me, I am kind of a skinny guy, I don't know if you can tell. <laughs> and so for me, I'm pretty frail and I can get injured sometimes, so I really love the different workouts that they uh, show me, that they recommend to me, and uh, just a lot of information that I can play with for my own personal training for fitness, dance, and also all the knowledge that applies to dance as well. And of course, I believe this is probably all of our favorites, is YouTube baby, free 99.99, my brother. Nice. Guys, there is so many tutorials that are out there for free, up for grabs for you to go ahead and just, just check out on YouTube. Look around, type in dance tutorials, you know, like Matt Stefanina has like free dance tutorials, like a channel. There's also, you know, people that do like TikTok dances, all sorts of stuff on, on YouTube. So just browse YouTube, type in dance, type in your favorite dancer. Another tool that you can use is you can even slow down videos so that you can catch on to the choreography and even teach yourself without them really having to teach you. Honestly, I love YouTube. You know what, I scratch that. YouTube is the best, YouTube's number one. And that's what I say. My last tip for you, tip number three, would be to get some accountability. What I mean is I want you to go up to your friends, your family members, your roommates, whatever your situation, your living situation might be, I want you to go up to them and be like, hey, I'm trying to get better at dancing. Why? Because I want to, I don't know. For me, my accountability is my dance team V3. Currently, we don't meet in large groups. We either meet in very, very small groups, maybe three or four people to either like practice dancing, make a dance video freestyle, but we do limit the number. But it still does keep me accountable to freestyle, to train, and I also get information off of them when I see them dance and I just vibe off them. So for you, it might look like reach out to your friend or other dance team, if you are on a dance team, reach out to a member on your dance team. I know a lot of us aren't meeting in large groups and it sucks, but you just kind of have to work with what you got. Even if it is just a Zoom call, you know, if you really want to continue your training and you want to get better or you want to start, get accountability. Tell your mom. I want to start dancing. Keep me accountable. Check on me. I don't know. <laughs> and I get it. You might be shy. It might be really hard to dance in front of them or dance with people. If you are just starting, I would just start off with uh, just being accountable to yourself. Just camera, person, you. Dude, record yourself. I, I really believe that every dancer needs to record themselves and to watch themselves on camera. When you record yourself, one, you get to see your own flaws and mistakes and also your strengths and what you actually accomplished during that day. Be positive about your progress, all right? And number two would be to track your progress. You get to set up all these videos on your computer or your phone or whatever it may be and track each and every one of those videos and you will see that you will slowly but surely start to grow in a matter of weeks and months if you continue to look at yourself see what pieces you're missing and improve on those pieces as you watch those videos of yourself. And if you really, really, really want to keep yourself accountable, put up those videos on Instagram and tag me so that I can watch you like this.
<laughs> but you will put up those videos for all your friends and family to see and you know just just be honest and be like hey like I'm starting dancing so you know this is the progress that I got anyways guys those are my three tips to conclude and wrap up everything to summarize everything into a little box right number one make a space create a space that is good for you use what you have number two take online classes take advantage of the online tools that are at the tip of your fingers brother use those online tools take advantage of them you have them use it and it's all free most of the time <laughs> And third and last tip would be to get accountability, get an accountability partner, have somebody keep track of you and record yourself, keep track of yourself, keep yourself accountable, make a list, make a list of goals that you want to achieve. I want to learn house, I want to learn crump, I want to learn waving, I want to learn, I learned the renegade recently, it was really awesome. Want to see my renegade? <laughs> But anyways guys, this is all that I have for you today. I really hope that you take these tips and I hope these tips actually help you. I really just wanted to make this for you. Um, for the person that was like me that didn't really know where to start, that didn't have a lot of tools at uh, his my, my disposal. I didn't have a lot of tools at my disposal. And I know that during quarantine, it probably is gonna be harder for a lot of people out there. Even people that are like me, it's, it, it is hard. So I hope these tips do help you start or to continue your training. And I hope you guys continue to dance still during this time. Dancing is a great way to stay healthy, stay fit, to move around. It is also just a great way to create stay creative um, and try new things really and to stay connected with people even if it is online but you know this is kind of what we have to do just for now but that is all i have for you today i hope you enjoyed the video please like share with a friend and subscribe to the channel i'll be putting up more videos uh dance related very very soon and i hope you guys will stick around for that so thank you again for stopping by. I appreciate it very much and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Love you. Peace out. Bye. I'm not going to do that. Just bye. <laughs> or maybe I will do that.